All right, Shalom. Shalom. This is the brothers from the GMS from Carolina. Came back for another video. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak Wadash. The bond of our apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us the truth of according to the Bible and rule well. Mm -hmm. And peace and blessings to those for the elect of the nation of Israel. Today, through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, we're basically just going to go into a lesson on reincarnation, you know. Basically centered upon on how Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is gonna have to um is gonna have to pay for his sins and his iniquities that he's done to us, you know, all his wickedness. Okay. Get um Isaiah fourteen. Oh, you actually you're in Ecclesiastes, that's a yeah. spirit. Get a, yeah. Can you get Ecclesiastes three? Yep. You know, I'm gonna say fourteen. I'm sorry, fourteen. Fifteen. You want fourteen. Yeah, you get fifteen. Straight to the point. Okay. Yeah. This is uh Ecclesiastes three and fifteen. It says, that which have been is now, mm -hmm. and that which is to be have already been. Yeah, it's talking about your spirit, you know? That your spirit has already been here on the earth, you know? And it's always going to be here, you know? You just, the only thing that changes is the <coughs> body that that spirit is in, you know? Because we're all living spirits, you know? And uh, every three or four generations, we come back in the flesh, you know? Re, meaning back, in. And uh, reincarnation breaks down to re being back in and incarnation in the flesh, you know. Mm -hmm. So back in the flesh. Mm -hmm. It's like um, it's like you know you, you're being recycled. You ever see a recycling bin? It has the arrows and a triangle. It's like you know a triangle. You know you're being brought down. You're being you're playing out your judgment. You're dying. You're going back up. You know what I'm saying? It's like a recycling period, man. Mm -hmm. you're constantly, you know. You be constantly being recycled, man. Yeah, and this is um, you know, basically we lost our heritage. This is com this was common knowledge back in the past, you know, back mm -hmm. in the days of when our Lord was on the scene, and all the ancient prophets knew about reincarnation. Yeah, you know. Yeah, this is Ecclesiastes three and fifteen. That which have been is now, mm -hmm. and that which is to be have already been, mm -hmm. and the Most High requires that which is past. Yeah, so the Most High, Yahweh Shema Shai, requires that which is past, you know? And it was past, you know, all the rape, robbery, and murder that the so-called white man did to us when we <clears throat> were brought over here in cargo slave ships, mm -hmm. leading up, ultimately leading up to this very day, but you know uh, we're not being we're not being uh, lynched and hung out in the street and uh, butt breaking. You mm -hmm. know these things aren't happening on a, at a mass scale like it used to. Mm -hmm. But your so-called white man is still gonna have to pay. Why? Because the generation that did that uh, when we did that hardcore bondage when we first got here is back here today. You know, mm -hmm. uh, playing and is gonna receive his judgments in this lifetime. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Okay. Um, you didn't finish that. Oh, read it again. Yeah, read it again. Yeah, this is uh, Ecclesiastes three and fifteen. It says that which have been is now, mm -hmm. and that which is to be have already been, and the Most High required that which is past. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Verse sixteen. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. Yeah, and he saw under the sun the place of judgment. You know that when you look up, what's under, what's above you, the sun. So under, under the sun would be the earth. You know. The place of judgment you know so that's where you play out your judgment it's not a place under the earth where you burn <coughs> forever or this magical place called hell where you just burn you know that's not that's not biblical you know it reads on ecclesiastes 3 and 16 it says more and moreover i saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there mm -hmm. and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there yeah, so <clears throat> wickedness was there and righteousness was there. It's talking about here on the earth. Can you get Matthew 11 and 14, you know? Yeah, I have a precept too, but... You know, Go ahead and get your precept. Get your precept. It's, it's pretty lengthy. Mm -hmm, okay. He said Matthew 11 and 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Matthew chapter 11, verse 14. It says, and it's written in red, so it's Lord, your house shall speak it. It says, and if you will receive it... This yes, is, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to let you talk. It's all good, bro. This is Matthew, St. Matthew 11 and 14. And if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was before, which was for to come. Yeah, it's talking about, uh, um, actually, go up one verse. Verse 13. I'm sorry, 13? Mm -hmm. This is St. Matthew 11 and 13. Okay. It says, um, 
for all the prophets of the law prophesied until John, mm -hmm. and if ye will receive yeah. it, mm -hmm. this is Elias, which was before, which was for to come. Yeah, so the Lord is Elijah. telling you that John the Baptist was Elijah mm -hmm. in the reincarnation, you know? That so if you will receive it, if you have the understanding ears to hear, if you have the, uh, if you can get the understanding through the spirit and pray out by Shema Shai, then you'll understand that reincarnation is in the scriptures, you know? You gonna get your precept, or you can get um, cause the prophets, the um, the disciples at that time didn't understand uh that that was really talking about Elijah, you know. Mm -hmm. You get Matthew seventeen and eleven to prove that. It's book of Matthew chapter seven verse eleven. Seventeen. It's not here. <clears throat> yep. This is uh say Matthew seventeen and eleven. Yahweh shot answered and said. You want me to start at 10? Yeah. This is uh, St. Matthew 17 and 10. It says, And his disciples asked him, saying, When they say the scribes that Elijah must first come. Yeah, so the scribes and Pharisees at that time were teaching that Elijah must come before Lord Yahweh before the Son of the Most High could come on the scene. Go ahead. Verse 11, St. Matthew 17 and 11. And how is this possible if Elijah had already came and lived out his life? You know, so they're talking about when Elijah shall come again back in the flesh, when his mm -hmm. spirit shall come back here on the earth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, and so the Matthew, St. Matthew 17 and 11, Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Elijah truly shall come first and restore all things. Mm -hmm. The word and truth, man. You go ahead, keep reading. Verse 12, but I say unto you that Elijah is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Yeah, so Elijah had already came, you know, which was who was going to break it down. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Verse yeah. th keep keep going. going. Yeah. yeah. Verse 13, then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. Yeah, so then his, his disciples got the understanding that he spoke of John the Baptist. Why? John the Baptist was Elijah in the reincarnation. It's that simple, <clears throat> you know? The, the Lord broke it down. People glance over this scripture, gloss over this scripture uh, every time they're in church reading the, reading the gospels, as they call it, you know, the good news, which was ultimately to the children of Israel, you know? When they they can't understand the the simple uh, context of reincarnation, you know. Mm -hmm. Gonna get your precept. You want it now? I mean, I think you got all the books already. Okay, come. On. I mean, it's whatever you got. It's whatever. This is uh, uh Isaiah chapter fourteen, and um, I'll start uh, at one. Okay. It says, "For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and yet choose it." The point is in two. Okay. <clears throat> it says. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Mm -hmm. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Yeah, and the strangers that's talking about in this is talking about the Israelite foreigners, mm -hmm. you know? Go ahead. And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. Verse 2. The people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Mm -hmm. And they shall take them captives. Yep whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Yeah, so how is that fair that we're going to, how are we going to rule our oppressors because those same, <laughs> that's a beautiful precept. Get um, Ezekiel 18 and 20. Okay. How is this, um, how is this, um, <laughs> how is this going to take part? How are we going to rule over our oppressors if our oppressors are going to perish here in Babylon, you know? Right. Why? They're going to be back in, in the flesh during reincarnation. They're going to come back in the flesh and play out their punishment once again here on the earth. Mm -hmm. That was perfect. Okay, this is, uh, Ezekiel 18 and 20 says, The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Mm -hmm. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Meaning the soul that committed that wickedness is going to pay for the wickedness mm -hmm. that it paid for. It, you know? Go ahead. Yep. This is Ezekiel 18 and 20. It says, The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Mm -hmm. The son shall not bear iniquity of the father. Yeah, so the son <laughs> is not going to bear the iniquity of his father. Meaning what? If my father or this brother's father was to commit adultery, we wouldn't get put to death for what our father did, you know? Right. It says, Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. Mm -hmm. You got a wicked son. The, the father is not going to have to pay for those transgressions. That The soul that sinneth, the person who did it, he's going to have to pay for it. That's whether right. it be in this lifetime or the next. That's right. It says, The righteous 
the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and mm -hmm. the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So uh, everyone's going to get their just reward, you know? Yeah. Get um, Exodus 20 and 5. Or you can go back to Isaiah and read 21. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump, down, jump over to 21. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children. Yeah, it's talking about whose children? Your so-called white man's children. Prepare slaughter for his children. You mm -hmm. know, go ahead. For the iniquity of their fathers. Yeah, and the so-called white man is Esau, Edom, according in the Bible. You know, that's their biblical nationality. You know, for the iniquity of their father. This is, they are their forefathers coming back in mm -hmm. the flesh. You know, mm -hmm. that's what we just read. In the previous scripture that the soul that sinneth it shall die you know the son the father they're not going to bury each other's iniquities right okay is it reads on isaiah 14 and 21 it says prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers and what's the iniquity that they have done to us you know rape rob and murdering us you know mm -hmm. taking away our heritage our nationality our way of life <coughs> um taking away the, our um our name of our power yahweh by shema Shai, you know yeah, the thing is that they've been trying to race since they came over here, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it goes even even further back to, um, you know, um, the, the Renaissance. Yeah. You know, and then even even in, in nowadays in in your, in your textbooks and your in your, your your schools, you know, um, you know, uh, indigent indigent. I can't say the word. Indigent indigent servants. Servants, kind of water, you know, came over here to find to, you know to get work. When it was actually we was forced, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As a nation to get to go into slavery, man. And it was you devils that did it, man. Yeah, packed on like sardines, <clears throat> you know. Mm -hmm. Who would voluntarily be like, man, it's it's a it's a it's a three month boat ride, but you know, just hopping right in here, you know, doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense. Right, that's the iniqu that's those some of the iniquities, man. Mm -hmm. They got to pay for it. Yep. It says, um, Isaiah 14, 21, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, mm -hmm. that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Yes, yeah, so one, very soon there will be no more <coughs> Edomites, you know? We're going to eradicate you off the planet, off the earth for all your wickedness that you've committed, you know? That's right, you know, you're not going to have any more Raleigh, North Carolinas. You're not gonna have any more uh, Washington D.C.s, no New York Cities, no Toronto's, no uh, 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 London, no Paris, you know, no uh, uh, um, L.A. Mm -hmm. None of that stuff, man. You're not gonna be able to fill the face of the cities, fill the face, the earth with uh, cities anymore, man. Your Mount Rushmore's, none of that, man. Mm -hmm. You get um, what did I call for before that? You get Second Ezra's uh, fourteen mm -hmm. and thirty-six. Because you so-called white people are going to pay for it, you know, because you got a lot of Edomites that are complaining. You're committing wickedness right now, and you're complaining about uh, how slavery wasn't your fault. You're still committing wickedness right now, you know? Exactly. But you are going to have to pay for those things because you were your forefathers coming back in the flesh, you know? 14 and 36? Yeah. This is 2nd Ezra's 14 and 36. Um, no, that's not it. That's not it. Yeah. The second Ezra is 14 and 34 it says you can start 34. Yeah. Therefore, if if so be be that ye will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive, and after death ye shall obtain mercy. Yeah, and after death you shall obtain mercy. Go ahead. Come. It reads on second Ezra is 14 and 35 it says for after death shall the judgment come mm -hmm. when we shall live again yes yeah, so the scriptures break it down again you know that's why um the spirit helped me bring out that Matthew 17 because the Lord said it himself you know Lord Yahweh Shai, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ you know he broke it down plainly uh straight to the point reincarnations in the scriptures <clears throat> and the prophet Ezra is doing the same thing you know after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. And we read in Ecclesiastes 3 and 16 that the place of judgment was here on the earth, you know? That's right. It's, uh, it's, uh, second Ezra 14 and 35, it reads on, For after death shall the judgment come mm -hmm. when we shall live again. And then shall, and then shall the names of the righteous be manifested, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. Yeah, the um the works of the ungodly are gonna be are being un, are being declared now, but you're gonna have to pay for it uh when you come back in the flesh when you come back in the kingdom of heaven you know. 
It's like right now you're in the sentencing phase, uh, uh, um, stages, Esau. Okay, you're in the sentencing stages right now for what you have done. Yeah, you're at, you're. At, this is trial, and you've been found guilty. You know, mm -hmm. now you just be you're um, you're about to be sentenced mm -hmm. and have to go play out your judgment. You know. Yeah. Game more precepts, cause I mean. That's pretty much it. That's, I mean, the, the point's pretty much made, you know. I'm not going to drag it on too long. You know, there's plenty of scriptures going into a reincarnation in the scriptures. But the so-called white man, you know, you're not getting all scot-free. You know, oh, get Exodus 20 and 5. We'll end it up with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, the, the Bible doesn't contra contradict itself, you know. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. You said 20 verse 5, right? 20 verse 5, or, you know... Uh, yeah, see. verse 5. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, Exodus 20 and 5. It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I am the Lord thy power, and a jealous power. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Here's the point. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Yeah, it's evident that you so-called white people hate the Lord because all these atrocities have been done to the children of the mm -hmm. Lord, you know? So the Lord is going to be visiting the iniquities upon the fathers, uh, upon the children of, of the third and fourth generation, you know? So every three or four generations, that's when you come back, you know? Mm -hmm. So you may, uh, you may die a terrible death here. You may be destroyed by the nuclear missiles. You may be eaten. <clears throat> It doesn't matter. Um, you either mice are still gonna have to play out another punishment, another judgment coming in the kingdom of heaven. You know, when we shall rule over our oppress oppressors. You know. I got one last one. Okay. This is the book of Saint James two and thirteen. For mm -hmm. well, he shall have judgment without mercy. Mm -hmm. And that's talking about you know the so-called white man Esau, man. Yeah. You're gonna have judgment without mercy. Okay. And the scripture is gonna say why. It reads on St. <laughs> James 2 and 13, for he should have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy. Yeah. That's right, man. This, this. Yeah, um, yeah, the so-called white man showed no mercy. You know, mm -hmm. we're, he has broke his the brotherly covenant, you know. Mm -hmm. He kept his anger forever, you know. Uh, how about Shemel and Shai? Uh, <coughs> you know, if you, you have to show mercy to receive mercy. That's how the Lord deals. So if you don't mm -hmm. want to... Uh, so-called white man lived by the sword. He's gonna die by the sword. You know. That's right. He, he he's you know he, <coughs> you're gonna sow what you reap. You know. You thought you got away scot free back in slavery. You still think you're getting away scot free today? No. In the kingdom of heaven, that's when you're gonna really play out your judgment. You know. Mm -hmm. Let me finish it out. This is the book of Saint James two and thirteen. It says, "For he shall have judgment without mercy, that have showed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against his." judgment mm -hmm. so you know with that you know Lord willing is edifying man through the spirit and power you how about Shimei Abishai you know before we go any further we want to give all praises honor and glory to the heavenly father's only begotten son Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rakakwadash double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us this truth for going through the Bible and we well Another shalom to all the sincere Akims, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth to diligence and sincerity, man. No mercy is going to be shown to you devils, man. Okay? You know, and the elect of the nation of Israel is going to rejoice in that day, man. Lord willing, man, because the Lord is going to have mercy on the elect. Mm -hmm. Shalom. Shalom.